Why does Sean have a cooking show? He doesn't even know how to cook. Why does Sean have a food show? He doesn't know how to cook. Sean doesn't know how to cook. Yeah, well, how come I'm teaching you so many things? Huh? Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Sean Evans coming at you from an LED screen surrounded by 50 episodes worth of Sean in the Wild history. That's right, Sean in the Wild has gone on now for 50 episodes, and how are we gonna celebrate? With a clip show, of course. Our producers have pulled some of the greatest kitchen hacks, some of the greatest cooking lessons, some of the greatest life lessons ever to come out of Sean in the Wild. You know what we're gonna do. Roll the tape! So why don't we put the cheese on? All right, bam. Cheese is on. <laughs> Not like that, dude. <laughs> like that. Oh, okay. <laughs> Off to a good start. <laughs> yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> so the whole reason. There you go. I did this. this dish is basically look at that. for this one scene right here. Take a look at that up top if you get can. Get cheese on the floor, chef. And then just bam. Let's get that. Let's get that. Oh. <laughs> A little bit of a fail. Here's what I'm gonna say. It might not look like I wanted it to look, but this is gonna taste amazing. So certain things that I learned that were like mistakes that a lot of people take wasabi and mix it in with the soy sauce. Technically not supposed to do that. I'm not gonna like nitpick every little thing they do because I feel like that's an asshole move. Right. But when you're gonna save them from ruining their meal, then I'll then I'll try them. <laughs> and then chef, I noticed you know we're going with our fingers on this. When is it? When do you use chopsticks? When do you just go fingers? Does it well, matter? Well, I have no rules about that. I mean, like you know, people not used to that the picking up the uh, raw fish with your own hands and uh, go ahead and use the chopsticks. They're pussies. Well, yeah, <laughs> Can you kind of speak to the beautifully pink aspect of the steak? Because we have one of the most active and engaged raw meat task forces in the history of YouTube, it seems. You know, every time our audience sees a little bit of pink, they freak out. What do you lose by overcooking it? You're gonna lose flavor, you're gonna lose moisture. And, you know, to be quite honest, it's like this steak was aged for 60 days. If we were to cook this well done, it's like it's losing all of that time, all of that, you know, those beautiful flavors. It's just gonna dissipate. There's no point. So usually what you do with these guys is, mm -hmm. well obviously this is way too big so you have a straw. With right. these guys what you do is usually just take it, put it in your spoon, kind of like poke like a little hole on the side or something and then you can, oh man, oh boy, no, did not just happen. Oh boy, see I just spilled the soup. That's not, that's not that's what not you want to do. That's not how you do it, that's not how you do it. But what you do is you would just kind of, kind of sit like with your mouth and your, there you go, yeah, like just like that. You're doing better than me. <laughs> Just get that out. Get that out and then you can eat it. But first of all, choke up on your bat. Yep, put your yep, thumb yep. here. And then curl your fingers around proper. And then you're going to slice down and away from your body. Down and away from your body. Don't be afraid of the board. Down and away. Don't saw. How am I doing? Not, not terrible. So hold this together. Always keep your fingers curled under when you're using a knife on this hand, right? Like mm -hmm. a cat's paw, yep. right? And you move the knife along the cutting board and you keep moving your fingers back. So one more left and it's the headliner. It's the much talked about, much discussed chicken feet situation. You never had this before. First time. Now the texture is a lot of times something that people have a tough time getting over. Basically the rule is if you bite down, whatever you can't chew, don't eat that, everything else, eat it. I mean, it's, it gets ugly. So a lot of people, they just put it in a whole thing in their mouth and just like... Try to figure it out. And just figure it out with their tongue. <laughs> but if you want to be more civilized, just eat the outside a little bit. And don't, don't be afraid to use your hands too. Nice! 
Good job, man. I am impressed. Good deboning skills. There's nothing that turns me off about the flavor. Mm -hmm. It's just the mental hurdles that you have to jump in your head. Mm -hmm. The mark against it, though, is it's so difficult to eat. You know, there's like 30 different bone shards in my mouth. But I would recommend it. I would order it again. Chicken feet, no big deal. All right, here's some of the basic rules when you eat at a Filipino house. You ready? Okay, One, it. we don't give a shit if you've eaten already, and we don't care if you're full. You're about to get more full. Second rule, you ready for this? Mm -hmm. There's no knives. We don't cut. Your spoon and your fork are your utensils. Spoon goes in the right hand, fork goes in the left hand. Hold the meat down with your fork, and then pull with your spoon. And that's how you cut. We don't need knives. We use those for weapons. We also have one more rule. <laughs> if you don't have utensils, you just wash your hands. So it goes down on the plate, and then you clasp the rice like, like you're grabbing a teddy bear. Like the And claw. then come up, and then win the prize. Wiener, 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 Filipino dinner. I'm gonna hit you with a question quick, because I know that timing on the smash burgers is crucial. Do you hit it right away? Right away. Right away. How does the burger keep its juiciness when you're smashing down on it and so thin? Well, it's cooking so quickly, it doesn't have the chance to expel too much moisture. And we're gonna flip them as soon as you start seeing, you see this like brown, dark brown stuff forming here? Yeah, we're kind of getting it. It's been on here for what, a minute now? And it's just about ready to flip. So you wanna really get underneath there, go fast. What are you looking for in this crust to know that it's ready to go? I'm looking for, <clears throat> a really deep brown crust. And knowing when to flip, you'll start to see the brown around the edges. You'll see it through the holes in the patty. And just like any great diner burger, we're only going to put cheese on one patty for each burger. What kind of cheese are you using? If you want a classic diner style burger, especially a smash burger, you're going American cheese. Yeah, look at that. You don't want to salt it. You just want to leave it like that. Add a little bit of butter. And then this is where you start mixing it. No, again, cold pan. This is like the bamboozlement of it all because people think you add cheese to it or like cream, but it's really just keeping the, uh, the butter cold and emulsified in the, uh, in the eggs. So when you get it to like this point where it's like, some white, we'll go ahead and throw it on the heat. And you notice I haven't seasoned it at all. And the butter hasn't broken from the eggs yet, so it's not like oily. The trick to making really good eggs, besides slow and slow and spinning it all the time, is if it looks like it's a little undercooked in the pan, it's already done. Ivan, can you give me the plan of attack? Can you give me ramen There's only two ones. What are the two rules? There's only two rules. Rule number one, eat it while it's hot. Okay. And then I see people taking an hour and a half to eat a bowl of ramen. It's insane. Yeah. <laughs> and then you want to slurp it. You get all the broth and all the flavor kind of whipping up into your mouth. And it's and it's just a, a great way to eat. You take a little bit less than you think you need to, so you, while you practice your slurp. And then you want to slurp it up like you drink really hot coffee in the morning. You know you need that first sip, but it's burning hot, and you drink it anyway. Exactly. Okay. So you just... There you, there you go. There you go. Nailed it. Nailed it. Nailed my sport. First try. Why does Sean have a food show? He doesn't even know how to cook. Well, there you have it. It's the life lessons. It's the trips in the kitchen. It's the cooking adventures. It's the characters. It's everyone. And you know who else it is? It's you, the fans. So I just want to thank you. 50 episodes. So amazing. You do not want to miss us next week. We are doing our season finale with someone that you guys know and someone that you love. I wish I could tell you, but I can't. My lips are sealed. You'll have to tune in next week. Thank you very much. Roll credits.